Crimea in southern Ukraine has now become the scene of the most polarized standoff between those supporting and denouncing the ongoing country's upheaval. Uh, protests against the new leadership are gathering steam in the mainly Russian-speaking region, with people deeply fearful uh, that laws will marginalize their language and even ban Russian TV channels. Uh, two people have already died, at least 30 injured in violent rallies. Meantime, it's largely the Muslim Tatar community which is backing the former opposition, as Ati's uh, Yegor Piskanov now reports. Allah Akbar, glory to Ukraine. Here in the Crimea, nationalist slogans are being shouted alongside pro Russian ones. The Crimea always used to be Russian and was passed over to Ukraine unlawfully. It's time for justice to prevail. In the USSR, the Crimea belonged to the Russian Soviet Republic until 1954, when the then Soviet leadership decided to transfer it to the administration of Soviet Ukraine. And when the USSR collapsed in 1991, the Crimea was left as a part of independent Ukraine. But for the last few centuries, mainly ethnic Russians have been living on these lands, alongside minorities, including the Muslim Crimean Tatars. They share the same land, but definitely not the same political views. We all came out today to show that without our approval, no decisions will be made. We say the Crimea is a part of Ukraine. The majority of people here support Russia. Local authorities were planning to decide which way the autonomous republic should move forward, closer to Kiev or to Moscow. But clashes on the streets prevented any decisions from being made. The square in front of the local administration building here in Simferopol has become a vivid example of the growing division in Ukraine society. We've got both those who support the political changes in Kiev and who are pro-Ukrainian and those who are pro-Russian with the Russian flags there, pro-Ukrainian flags here, and the tensions are reaching the boiling point. Most of the Crimean Tatars have been siding with the Ukrainian nationalists, but they were never able to agree on much. The Tatars want their own Crimean Tatar government, but that idea is too far-fetched. At this point, however, nationalism is far more important than logic. The majority here are expecting the local Crimean authorities to exercise the political will and not allow a new ethnic conflict in Europe to break out. Igor Piskunov, RT, reporting from the Crimea.